Entertainment purposes only. In this video, we are going to build a spitball shooter capable of hitting targets 200 feet away. We will need one plastic pen, one paper clip, one tic tac container, and spitballs. And this tape. The first step is to disassemble the pen. You may need to use a pliers to dislodge the rear housing cap. Using the pen as a guide and at a slight angle, with marker, indicate two pen sized holes on both ends of the tic tac container. Carefully use a hobby knife to cut out the hole. Or, for quick work, a large pen-sized drill bit also does the trick. Now slide the pen housing through the holes. To create a barrel sight, bend a paper clip as shown. Create an additional bend to form a small loop. To complete the basic frame, use tape to attach the modified paper clip to the end of the barrel. Adjust if needed. To create spitball ammo, fold one 3 inch by 3 inch sticky note into 9 evenly spaced sections as shown. Using the crease lines as a size guide, Rip or cut the small sections apart and ball each of them up. To be battle ready, fill a tic tac container with a bunch of wet or dry spitballs. With the basic frame complete, let's go next level with a military upgrade. Using this custom digital camo tape, wrap the pen housing by slowly rolling the pen onto the tape. Then pre-cut two sections of tape and gift wrap the tic tac container. Use a hobby knife to clear the tape from the two drilled holes. Slide the barrel into the tic tac container. To create the trigger guard, wrap one large paper clip. Then with pliers, bend the paper clip three times. Then mount using hot glue. For added strength and design, cut two thin strips of black tape. Use one to secure the trigger guard and another to wrap at the end of the barrel. Our military grade scope will be constructed out of two modified marker housings. Disassemble them as shown. Push the ink cartridge out of them, then use a hobby knife to cut them both in half. Assemble them by first inserting the rear pen cap from the pen housing. This will help hold the two nib ends together. Carefully use hot glue, and then add two marker end caps as makeshift top and side scope adjustment knobs. An angle mount will need to be constructed. We'll use a popsicle stick blackened with ink and then cut as a wedge. Hot glue a small section on top of the tic tac container, then secure the wedge and scope assembly. Remove the end off one additional marker housing to construct the extended barrel. Then add several cool looking ports using a drill. The added mouthpiece will be constructed from a cut pen cap. Time to lock and load. Attach the mouthpiece and the extended barrel on the gun frame. Use tape or hot glue if needed. Then flip open the clip and load your watery ammo. Let's test it out. We'll pull the break in target from the target book. Load a wet spitball in the mouth end of the gun. Aim towards the target and then quickly exhale. Let's test one more target from the book called down the row. One, two, three, four, five. The accuracy is pretty good. Let's test the power with a mini target mounted on top of plastic cup. Thank you.